That's what I'm talking about. We got some things right. I guess. I don't know. <laughs> I No, listen, I'll, I will I will victory lap this one because I'm actually really excited about this one. And um Yeah, you are. I, I, I put it in action. Helped me get a win this week. L- uh, truthfully, helped me get a win this week. Because if I if if I did not have Drake May in my lineup, I would not have won. I won by two points. Uh, and I originally was going to start Brock Purdy, who uh, he, in the league format that we're in, Drake May outscored Brock Purdy by like four points. So I, uh, I'm pretty excited about that one. But Drake May uh, called it out here, said, hey, he's going to be a stud this week. 25 fantasy points was the QB6. Um, awesome stuff from the rookie. Uh, I don't want to make any huge claims yet, so do with this information what you will. But there's only two players in NFL history with over 500 receiving yards and five passing touchdowns in each of their first – or sorry, not in each, but in their first two starts in the NFL uh, is uh, Drake May and Dan Marino. So, I mean, you never know. Uh, you never know what's going to happen here, but Drake May, trajectory, uh, greatest quarterback to ever – second greatest quarterback to ever never, never win a Super Bowl what? Uh, is what we're looking at here, so – there you go. Uh, that is true. I promise you. For only oh, only the second quarterback ever to have f- over 500 passing yards and five touchdowns in his first two games. Combined, yes. Facts. Well, yeah. I mean, yeah. We're I mean, yeah. Like just May, just like check it. Yeah. 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 Um, but, yeah. So, that was fun. And then, uh, I mean, it wasn't a – if you've been paying attention, you hopefully were on the train with this as well. But Michael Pittman Jr. was my dud. He scored like nine fantasy points, which, to be honest, is great for the Colts offense in the Colts passing game, but not somebody you were happy to have in your lineup there. So definitely not excited there. And uh, that's it. Everything else is sad for me. So, Wes, take it away. Yeah, same. I only got three. I've got three. But after this week, that's huge. That is amazing. So yeah. in the offseason, we were talking about some of the players that were going to come off of injuries. We're going to be buying back on some of these players. One of them was Deshaun Watson. I remember uh, the conversation was he could finish top 10. He could also be like out of the top 30. You never know. And I said, I believe there is a quarterback in Cleveland that's going to finish top 15, but it's not Deshaun Watson. It's going to be Jameis Winston because of his injuries and because uh, Watson sucks. And so now here we are. And I'm, I've got to take some you're victory diab- laps You're here. diabolical for victory lapping this one, by the way. Absolutely <laughs> I'm, diabolical. I'm, I'm, the, so, the body is still warm, Wesley. Oh, my God. It is, like, I, well, <laughs> So I'm not I'm not rooting for injuries. I don't want people to get hurt. Okay, oh I don't I don't wish people to be done with football. But okay, we're also just one. anyone. Where yeah, you know. <laughs> I read comments where it was like officially Achilles was ruptured. People kept commenting, "Couldn't have happened to a better guy." <laughs> yeah, it was really disappointing, dude. It was. I was, I was uh, like, uh, one more one more thing about this. We're one step closer to my dream Super Bowl this year. Jameis Winston on the Browns oh versus Baker Mayfield on the Bucks. That's my dream. Okay, oh, yeah. two more. I said my studs. My stud running backs, it said Tank Bigsby and a bonus was Najee Harris. Both dominated. Very excited to see them do well. Very excited to see Tank Bigsby come back to the guy that we all thought he was going to be, especially with Etienne gone. That's it. 